In addition to technical and aesthetic considerations, cultural aspects also influence wood selection and manufacturing. In the case of Buddhist sculptors, woodworkers who make objects for a temple or shrine, and Niwa Deiku, a religious dimension plays a part in the selection of wood material. Various ceremonies related to the timber, the finished object, and the manufacturing process are also involved. The Sinbaku, or sacred trees, are trees through which the Sinto divinities descend and in which they dwell. A certain number of the interviewed woodworkers mentioned holding religious ceremonies for the wood they use, or at least affirmed that Sinboku wood was indeed sacred wood. Most of the craftsmen who said they do not hold religious ceremonies related to their work cited examples of such a practice in working fields other than their own, such as carpentry. According to the woodworkers, today I'm going to show you some of the religious ceremonies that might be held. Before a tree is felled, before felling a tree, Morui will have to say a Sinto prayer for the god of the mountain and the soul of the tree. He gives an offering of salt and rice wine. Especially large or particularly shaped ones were considered sacred and were venerated mainly as places where divinities resided. In addition to saying a Sinto prayer for the mountain and the soul of the wood, Morui also recites a sutra for the tree to be felled. The sutra he recites is the Hanua Singuo, or the Heart Sutra, a short sutra expressing the transcendental wisdom of the void. before starting construction of a building. In present-day Japan, groundbreaking, ridge-raising, and completion ceremonies are still observed in many building projects. The groundbreaking ceremony begins with rituals designed to appease the tutelary gods of the building site and to pray for the safety of all involved in the construction.
also has excellent physical properties, being highly durable, cleavable, quick to dry, and water resistant.